Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on tricky maths and it's part one of a series. Basically here I'll present some interesting challenges with numbers and hopefully you'll find them a lot of fun and also useful. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with this one. I think you might get it out. Tricky Maths Part 1. This lesson will be about using the number 4 to generate the integers from 1 to 5. Now here's the first task. I'll explain it to you. Use the number 4 exactly 4 times in a number sentence to generate the number 1. You are permitted to use any mathematical operation, so whatever operations you want to use, you can do that, or whatever symbols you want to use, but no other numbers. Now, if you want to try this challenge, just pause the video here and see if you can answer this question. So I'll move on now to the next slide, and I'll just have the answer for you, but you would have had time yourself if you want to try it out. So the answer is 4 plus 4 divided by 4 plus 4. That gives you 8 divided by 8 and that gives you 1. So you can see I've used 4 on 1, 2, 3, 4 occasions. I've used no other numbers and we've generated the answer 1. Let's look at the second task. The second task says that we have to use the number 4 exactly 4 times under the same conditions to generate the number 2. Again, you can pause the video here if you want to try this out for yourself. So I'll move on now and we'll have the answer on the next slide. So if you have 4 times 4 and you divide that by 4 plus 4, so that here really is 16 and if you divide that by 8, so 16 divided by 8 gives you 2. So there's the answer to the puzzle. The third one, same thing, we'll use the number 4 four times to generate the number 3. So pause the video here if you want to have a go at this yourself. Let's look at the answer. If you have 4 plus 4 plus 4 and you divide it by 4, that gives you 12 divided by 4. Okay, so you've got 12 and you divide that by 4 and it gives you the answer of 3. So we've answered the question. The fourth task, you have to generate the number 4. See how you go with this one. This one is a little bit tricky. So let's see how we do this one. So pause the video if you want to try it yourself. Now here are the answers. The square root of 4 plus the square root of 4 plus the square root of 4 minus the square root of 4 equals 4. Now let's see how this works. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 2 plus 2 minus 2, that gives you 4. So we've answered the question. Let's move on to the next one. And this is the last task in this little slide here, in this little uh, video. So this time we have to generate the number 5. Okay, so pause the video if you want to have a go at this. Let's see how you get this answer. 4 times 4, then you add 4, so you have all that in grouping symbols, then you divide by 4. Let's see what happens. 4 4s are 16, so that part's 16, that part's 4, and we know that part's 4. 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 divided by 4 gives you 5. So there we've answered that part of the task. I'd like to make an, an acknowledgement here because a few years ago I had the privilege of sitting in on a maths class 
being taught by a former colleague and he gave me the idea for this video. I've just extended it. So thank you to my colleague. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.